been about two weeks since remote learning started for all of the students in the Tucson Unified District. Nine on your side, Luz Delia Caballero listened in on the latest meeting and shares what parents are most concerned about and how the district is addressing it. One year ago, remote learning was a far-fetched idea. Today, it's a reality for many TUSD students, though there is an exception. Roughly 500 students are learning virtually on campus. We identified our at-risk population to be our McKinney-Vento, um, students that have foster care status, our refugee status students and our exceptional education students. And I just want to make it known that if you are a parent and your child is not a part of any of these categories, please contact the school. We do not turn anybody away if you actually are in dire need of an on-campus learning space. And should students need help getting Chromebooks or hotspots, TUSD has them covered. They can also contact their school office directly and that school office will actually walk them through that process. CDC guidelines are being enforced on TUSD campuses and personal protective equipment is available. TUSD is providing our, our staff and our students with masks, in some cases gloves. We're also providing some face shields. As for sports, cross country, golf, swimming and volleyball have already started in phase one. This is purely volunteer basis. Some schools are waiting to kind of get a little more organized, but phase one really is more conditioning. Football, the earliest it could start, and again, this would be phase one, would be on the 24th of August. TUSD Superintendent Dr. Gabriel Trujillo says there are still many unknowns and temporary changes to be made but he says there's one practice that may stick around for years to come, the hybrid approach. For more information, visit our website, kagan9.com. Lustelia Caballero, Kagan 9, on your side.